Hello everybody, Terrible at Fishing. <laughs> so today, we're going to Willow Valley Reservoir. I mounted you kind of on my steering wheel, that's why you're kind of looking at me like here. Um, big bass are there, from what I'm told. Uh, another member of the Basin uh, Bass Club uh, was there. He didn't catch any big ones this last week, but uh, that doesn't mean they're not there. He's sure they are. So, it's uh, 33 degrees outside right now, just above freezing, which is good. By the time I get there, um, it should be a blistering 37 or something like that. Um, I've never been to this reservoir, so we're going to sort of, sort of survey it. I don't know if there's timber underneath. I don't know if there's grass underneath, growth, if it's rocky or not rocky. So I really don't know what kind of uh, setup I'm going to use. It's also good for crappie. Now, I, I've only caught one crappie here, and evidently crappie are all over the place. So, I, on my crappie jigs, I've been catching bass. So, I'm, uh, you know, I'm curious about this spot. It's right on the right on the Oregon-California border. Um, it's just probably feet from the California border on this side of the on this side in Oregon. Uh, I have licenses for both, so even if I drift into the California side, if that's part of it, then I'm okay. And my boat's registered in California as well. So, uh, uh, anyway, this is, uh, I'm, I'm looking through, if you go to my Facebook page, uh, you'll see that, uh, uh, you know, the, I put a list of all the lakes and fishing spots and what they catch. Pretty much all of them catch trout. And uh, uh, this is just one of those on my list, you know, Willow Valley. Um, and there's another lake uh, I might try uh, called Dog Lake. Not sure exactly how much water is in there. On my way back home, I might sweep by it, check it out. Um, see what Dog Lake is about because it's not too far off the beaten path. All depends when I finish up here. So uh, let's, what else? Uh, nobody's with me today. So <laughs> you know with COVID and everything it's really changed everything. I mean I kind of feel bad about asking people to go with me, especially with my background. I don't know if uh, I have the immunity gene anymore because evidently that wears off. And uh, uh, I haven't been tested for the immunity lately. Uh, there's a nice little river. I think this is Lost River. Uh, I hear good fishing is here as well. turn out right here. If I wanted to put in there, I could. Huh. Could be good. Never know. Huh. We'll have to look at Lost River. Um, so that's a loss because it's right there. So I might, you know, I did some research on Texas rigging. Um, and jigging and stuff like that because y'all know that I'm not very good um, at uh, my plastics. I really need to get better at plastics. So the uh, yeah, my uh, ability in plastics need to get greatly improved. There's a park here called Stevenson's Park I'm passing up in a minute. And uh, the river goes right through it. Looks like uh, there's a couple fishermen out there already. I'm about the 140 heading towards the town of Bonanza. 
And a quarter mile, turn right. We're going to drive by Gerber Lake, which I took you guys out to and didn't have any success practically. Caught one yellow perch that day. It was a big yellow perch. And, uh. Take the next right to North Glow Valley Road. Alright, taking this right. Glow Valley Road. That's right, actually. Uh, so, fish run away from me. Right by the dock. So, I'm using a jig. Black and dark, real muddy water. I like when it's all dark. So, so Alright guys, a few minutes in, and look what we got. She's a beaut. She has She's a disposition. Say what you want. Much like all the dead. Yeah. 
and get it while you can. You got to take it when you can get it and get it while you can. of that on my iPad so that I got a picture of and I'll post that so I finally found a bass lake finally found a bass lake a lake with big bass in it so I mean a four pounder I've never caught any, a, a bass that big so I'm real happy about that um, 
kind of a desolate place the uh, lake is but uh, doesn't matter uh, what little cover there was on the water that's where the bass were so they were real easy to find and uh, had a great time so now I just got to find my way back home uh, out of memory because yeah, there's no cell service out here so you really don't have Google you don't have GPS so my guess is I'm going to the right direction so anyway I will uh, post this and uh, and you guys can see my four pound personal best bass which I bought got on a uh, square bill crank black magic six cents bait so I uh, never caught anything on the black magic I've always heard good things about it and that water was so murky and the darker the water the darker the bait I don't know why but it's just the way it is and the first three pounder I got on a uh, dark jig lost the jig though uh, on subsequent casts so really a good day good day so get home before dark uh, and I'm getting really tired of being sick uh, lungs are killing me I don't know you can't have lung transplants so I guess we just gotta live with it I'll see you guys later unless I get lost and die alright bye